Hey, you're watching Fat Man DD1, you dingus. Whatever he said. This is your boy, Fat Man DD1. Right now, we about to get into the best thing ever. Some news. So let's just jump into this bullshit. We're going to start off with movie news. Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and Egypt are both trying to ban Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness. Not really. They just want one thing edited, and that's 12 seconds of a line that America Chavez basically says about her mother's. Listen, I had an overreaction on Instagram, I mean Twitter, and said, no one really cares about the LGBT community like that. Calm down. I don't need anything about LGBT community in Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness. But I'm actually pretty much wrong. If it's 12 seconds, it's it's a nothing burger. It's not going to get banned in these countries. It's not going to get fucking like defiled. They wanted it edited because of their belief systems. And if Disney and Marvel believe in what other people believe and stand for, if you're siding with another community, that is fine. But you can't go against a religion and a culture's thing. You know, there's a whole argument back and forth here. But it's 12 seconds at the same time. She just mentions them. Her two moms. I don't think it is a big deal. I did overreact on Twitter. But other than that, nothing here. And in movie news, Barbie is coming out of a movie being played by Margot fucking Robbie. Shouts to her. She's beautiful. She's wonderful. Quirky. Amazing. And there hasn't been a live action Barbie movie, so why the fuck not? Go ahead, Margot. Do your thing, girl. You gotta love her. You gotta love her and what she does. She brings the role to anything. She has fun with it. So why not? Margot, you're the best. Zack Snyder at CinemaCon 2022. I hope this is a real thing. I really do. It's not. It's Photoshop. It's perfectly fine. But if it's a real thing and you've been keeping up with CinemaCon, please let me know in the comments below. Tell me what's happening. I haven't kept up with it. For those who don't know what CinemaCon is, it's basically anything and everything involving about the cinema, movies, new things coming to 2020, 2023, 2024, and all the best features that cinemas are displaying and showing off for the best movie experience. 4DX is still the best. I'm just saying. After that, before that, Sony did drop something on the 26th that I have to get to. Phil Lord and Chris Miller both had to announce not one, but two Spider-Man movies. All right, so Spider-Man did get delayed uh, across the Spider-Verse. It got delayed to June 2nd, 2023. I'm happy for this. Take all the time you need. Take all the time you need to create this. And we have Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. I love that. Beyond the Spider-Verse. March 29th, 2024. Okay. Okay. You cooking with Crisco here. This is what I'm talking about. Can't wait to see what happens. I'm hopefully, you know, I got to keep the physical health and mental health to be prepared for these movies. I love when they talk about this stuff. And then you know at the end of Across the Spider-Verse, they're going to tease Beyond the Spider-Verse. Fabulous. One more thing. Andrew Garfield is leaving acting. Listen, listen, don't get me wrong. Andrew, if you're leaving acting, thank you. You've brought incredible characters to the role. You're not just Spider-Man. You're also an amazing motherfucking actor. He wants to take time away from the big screen and just be a regular person. Go ahead. You made your money. You've done your thing. You've got fans hyped up for you again and again and again. Please come back, be prepared, or take some time away and just live your life and do what you got to do as a grown ass man. Shout out to Andrew Garfield. You're the best Spider-Man out there, and you're a wonderful damn actor. Hope to see you soon and whatever you do. And if you don't come back, live your life, baby. In more comic book movie news that's just freaking weird, I understand these three movies, but only understand one of them. Craven having a movie? Yes. Madam Web? Fuck no. Some mask motherfucker that's only had like a couple cameos in the comics? Get the fuck out of here. I don't- no one knows this mask, dude. No, fuck out of here. I think this one is, this seems like a diversity hire. This seems like, oh, we should hire him to just get the fuck out of here. No, no. Madam Web, the actress that they have is an older girl. She's like a younger woman. I was like, what the fuck? Madam Web is older, obviously. Anytime you see Madam Web depicted, she's an old bag. <laughs> she was also created off of Stan Lee's wife. I really do love uh, the voice of her was Stan Lee's wife from the animated series of Spider-Man, uh, the, the 90s series, which was awesome. I love that little tidbit. So I really do believe Madam Web should have that same energy as like, uh, Stan, like from the one from the TV show. But if not, I don't need a movie with Madam Web. Craven, probably. Madam Web, no. This mask guy, fuck out of here. And money you wish you had news. The Catch Me Outside girl basically drops everything on about her 
money making on OnlyFans. <laughs> she drops it. Like, she shows the receipts of how much she's making. And right here, ain't gonna lie to you, it makes me kind of question uh, society at this point. They really waited until this girl was 18. Like, they waited until she was 18 and they started giving her money. Money. Okay? Now, don't get me wrong. I know our society is a bunch of, like, perverts behind the scenes. And that's fine for you. you know, I'm an honest pervert in real life. But this is a little extra. I ain't gonna lie to you. She's made money off of it, but she did it when she turned 18 and boom. Because the platform won't accept you if you're 16. That's number one. They, they take a picture of your photo ID. They do everything to verify your identity. So it is kind of crazy. And you fill out like an actual W-2 or I-9 form. So they go hard in trying to get money and taxes back. Just saying. But this right here, astounding the amount of money she got. And just from being off Dr. Phil, she did do the reverse Kim Kardashian. She didn't sleep with anybody. She didn't drop a, a show after that. And then boom. No, she set a line and then got money. At least she ain't doing mega thought shit. She probably just posted regular pictures and people love it. Hey, she they support her. Fuck, they probably pay her to curse at them. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? OnlyFans is weird. But do you wish you had all this money? Fuck, I do. In my waifu is dead news. It's not really my waifu is dead news. A man who basically was in love with Hasuni Miku, the digital Japanese... What? The, the, the pop idol, basically, the animated pop idol, he had a hologram pop idol version of her that a company was creating. And if you read the article, it basically says the company went out of business and stopped updating code so she can kind of talk and move and, and talk to him. But he's married to a legit Hasune Miku hologram. And now she no longer gets updates to have conversations with him. And that's kind of sad. But... I actually do praise this guy because Hasuni Miku got him back into being social, society, encouraging him, just energy in general. The character took this man from being a straight up loser to saying, I give zero fucks what people think. Look at me now, bitch. I'm married to the, my fictional character. And he's doing it big. I don't, like, he, he, people talking about him. So that means something, you know, even if it's a negative or positive, that means something for him. And that he even said this character helped his self-esteem and energy. I love it. You gotta love it. You may not, but I do. Moving on. Right here, this lady talks about Elon Musk and basically Twitter. We're gonna listen to this for a second. Let's go. And in fact, on Twitter, it is predominantly straight white men. So what? when Elon Musk says, wow. This is about free speech. It seems to me that it's about free speech of straight white men. And so let them have it. Let them just go at it. What? I enjoyed the block button on Twitter. Um, I think it has a real outsized influence in, in, in our world because politicians and celebrities. Listen, 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 listen. I understand the Elon Musk boner that everybody has, right? You don't like Musk. Some of y'all sending death threats about Musk, talking about kill Elon Musk. Shout out to Data Racer 117, because he's fucking amazing. At, and look at all this shit here, right? Compared to the shit she just said, these fucking people right here, right over here, are talking about massacring the guy, killing the mans. Someone should kill Elon Musk. If you are on this type of time, bitch, you need to calm down. It's not about white supremacy. The nigga wants to buy Twitter because Twitter is literally this. A hellscape of people saying anything they want to say. I believe in freedom of speech. I guess the government, uh, you can say what you want to a degree, to a, de degree to, to a small amount. But you can't wild the fuck out. You can't wild the fuck out. You can't do what the fuck you want. You can't say shit like this. Right? The man ain't racist. Because... The racism shit came from an employee at one of the Tesla factories getting called racist shit by one of the other employees. Motherfucker, this has happened to me when I worked at a restaurant. All the Mexican people made fun of me, cut my ass because I didn't know Spanish. The fuck? And a couple Puerto Rican guys. Because I didn't know Spanish and I'm a half Dominican. They just making fun of me. Thanks to a friend that translated and said, yo, they cut your ass because they say all this racist shit about you. Well, fuck them. I don't give a fuck, nigga. At least I can speak English and we'll go outside and do what the fuck I gotta do. See? See how the reverse racism goes? It's pretty fucked up, isn't it? 
This right here is why. Y'all need to be doing this. Because you don't like the man buying Twitter don't mean you can say whatever you want to say and give a motherfucker death threats and say all this shit. It, it's wild. For real. That eraser, he compiled a lot here, man. There's a lot going on here. And I'm I'm only showing the tip of the iceberg because holy shit. This is a lot. This is a lot of people hating on the man and feeling that the man is racist. He's a part of the white supremacy. All that bullshit. And to be honest with you, if any of that was true, we would know about it off the heartbeat, man. man my man, like for real. Yeah, I need to calm the fuck down. Elon Musk ain't a bad guy. And niggas is doing the most. Motherfuckers is doing the most. Just off the cuff and off the steam of it, none of this shit is that serious. None of it is that serious. Even if you feel that it's that serious, nigga, it's not. It's not, it's not that serious. It's definitely not that serious. To definitely with death threats. Get the fuck out of here. Like, for real. Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox drink each other's blood. You can look at the article in the description. I ain't reading this. Nope. Nope. After he got beat, he turned into a weirdo. I'm just saying. My dude's wearing, my dude's wearing nails. He's wearing nails, bro. This ain't... I don't know what part of punk rock this is, but this ain't rock and roll or heavy metal. Calm down. Chill, all right. Machine Gun Kelly wallet. Like after Eminem washed this man, he washed all the hip hop out of him <laughs> and all the gangsta. <sighs> Woo! And last but not least, James Gunn defends Chris Pratt after this bitch right here tweets some shit out. Marvel, hear me out. Just replace him. And James Gunn with the motherfucking save. We got we got to zoom into this. James Gunn with the motherfucking save. James Gunn with the motherfucker saves. For what? Because ultra false beliefs about him? For something that someone else told you about him. That's not true. It's not. Chris Pratt would never be replaced as Star Wars. But if he ever was, we would all be going with him. I love this because Dave Bautista said the same thing when James Gunn was gonna get was gonna get fired and gonna leave, right? Disney, Marvel in general, probably had to look at it like this. You can't fire the man for old tweets. And Chris Pratt, his church, he didn't know anything about his church. He's like, that's not my church. And I gotta give this up to Ellen Page before she became Elliot Page. Ellen Page was a bitch. Why you come out on television talking about Chris Pratt's church if you actually know the church? She's just mad and she's a lesbian woman. They don't like the church. Gay people, lesbians, uh, transgender, and no one likes them. They, they, they hate the church and they probably also hate some of the members of their family that are very church-oriented. That, that, that was not good to do. <laughs> but other than that, encompassing everybody from the church, just like Chris Pratt, you're a fucked up person. Calm down. Let it be. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. You're overdoing it. Chris Pratt is a nice guy and saying you replace him, you're fucking stupid. Before that, Ellen Page was an asshole for that one thing. And then now he's Elliot Page. I bet he's still a fucking asshole. That's why your wife left you because you're a fucking asshole. Simple as that. Also, your wife didn't marry a man. She married a woman. So there you go. In other words, James Gunn did the right thing. And all of that good news, I hope you enjoyed. If it was pretty long, my bad. There's a lot of fucking articles here. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I tried my best. But if you enjoyed, remember to like, subscribe, Bitch. comment. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified to the channel. From me to you, remember to never give up, never surrender, keep on riding. Peace and mad love. I'm out of here. Woo! Let's go! Shit. Yeah, been on drum. Been on drum. You little niggas gonna stop acting like, like my shit ain't the grill. Some of you one. niggas get your front teeth for a grill. And I ain't talking about the contract. The 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 right. Ain't loving these fake hoes. Room smelling like eight switches. Room service like 2K. NBA, I'm ballin' nigga. All them niggas falling like all them niggas. Talking shit, I saw them niggas. Now they daughter want a picture. Rough ain't it? Fuck famous. Yeah, niggas too real, got the most haters. Wrote a story, so Stephen Curry. I would feel to be golden.